Now the latest twist in the battle of the Uttar Pradesh rivals, Samajwadi Party and BSP. Samajwadi Party government has blocked the road to Mayawati's house for a flyover project that took off today. BSP leaders have called the flyover the part of a plan to target them. The road leading to Mayawati's house is blocked and deserted. It now has a warning sign that Akhilesh Yadav has bulldozed into it and is all set to build a flyover. A flyover, he feels, is a necessity to ease traffic congestion, something a smaller and a much narrower railway overbridge can no longer handle. So, if someone comes in the road, it will become a full. It will not change the road for that. And the crossing is also there. But with the road blocked, her memorial-like house is still not out of bounds for her. Now, for the next few months, instead of a four-lane expressway kind of road, Mayavati's more than a dozen car motorcade will drive through this arterial route to bring her home. Yeah, I think it's going to intrude my privacy. Um, and also, although I feel it is required, because uh, the railway line over here, it's always like jammed because, um, you know, there is no flyover. Ever since this flyover was first announced in this year's budget, the BSP made it abundantly clear that if Mayavati comes back to power, they will seek revenge, build one flyover to counter another. And that flyover will come bang opposite Mulayam Singh and Akhilesh Yadav's residence on Vikram Aditya Marg to connect both sides of that railway crossing. The people of Uttar Pradesh are used to politics getting personal. Already, Akhilesh Yadav has given the green signal to use Mayavati's memorials of stone to host weddings. And now, it's the battle of the political flyovers. Will this tit-for-tat ever end? Well, your guess is as good as ours. With camera person Ramesh Farma in Lucknow, Anand Zanani for NDTV.